So, so far we've taken a look at how to use vPython as a calculator, how to use variables in vPython, but you probably were assigned to work with vPython because it creates visuals. It's incredibly easy to make visuals with vPython, and that's what we're going to start doing in today's video. Um, what I've done here is I've gone ahead and set up a couple of locations for us to make a sphere and a box. So I've set up two variables. One's called sphere underscore location. One's called box underscore location. So these are longer variable names than we had last time. You can make a variable name whatever you like, um, as long as it's something you can remember later. So you don't want to just call them, I know we used A and B last time, but you don't want to just go around calling things A and B and then forgetting what they are. So this is going to be the location of the sphere that we make and this is going to be the location of the box that we make. Now what I've done here is a location is a it takes place in three dimensions right so we live in a three-dimensional world vPython works in a three-dimensional world so that means we have to work with vectors. So a vector in vPython is just like a vector in your physics class it's three coordinates it's an x coordinate y coordinate and a z coordinate so vector has X coordinate, Y coordinate, and Z coordinate. Again, this little hash mark here just means that this next X is a comment. It's going to be ignored. And so what I have to do is I have to give my location three uh, numbers. I have to give it an X coordinate, Y coordinate, Z coordinate. Same thing here for the location for the box, an X coordinate, Y coordinate, and a Z coordinate. And so this is going to be located at 0, 0, 0. The sphere is going to be located at the origin. The box is going to be located at 1, 0, 0. Although now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder if I should make this 2 to make them a little bit farther apart. Um, so let's, yeah, let's just make this one 2, 0, 0. Okay, so so far all I've done is stored their locations. I haven't actually told vPython to make any shapes yet. So the way you make a sphere is with a very complicated command called sphere. Isn't that easy? And literally all you have to do to get it to make a sphere is tell it pause equals sphere location. And that's it. That's the bare bones what you need. You need to tell it that you want it to make, you need to tell vPython that you want to make a sphere and you need to tell it what the position is. So pause is the thing's position. So pause equals the shape's position. And so if I run this now, it's going to give me a visual with a sphere located at 0, 0, 0. So let's run this. And there we go. There is your sphere. Uh, it is located at the origin. It's located at 0, 0, 0. If you now right click in here, so I'm holding down my right mouse button and drag the mouse around, you can see the thing rotate. So you can rotate this shape around. You can rotate it in all three Dimension. So here I'm rotating around one axis, here I'm rotating around the other axis, um, here I'm rotating it, yeah, I can rotate it around another axis, there we go. So they've got some shading on there so you can see the thing rotate and you can rotate it around all you want. Now notice I don't have a box here yet because I haven't created the box. Uh, one other trick, if I click and hold on the left and right mouse buttons, so what I'm doing right now is I'm clicking and holding on the left and right mouse buttons and I'm dragging my mouse back, I can zoom out. And if I drag forward, I can zoom in. I can zoom in all the way into the sphere. So I'm inside the sphere now. Isn't that cool? If you haven't seen uh, the movie Sphere, uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, it, it, I don't think it aged that well. Um, but anyway, this is kind of cool. Actually, this is incredibly cool. Um, so I made my sphere. Now let's take a look at making a box. So for a box, Again, all I need is a position. So now I'm telling you to make a box at the box's location. I'm using the word position and location here interchangeably. They're, they're the same thing. So again, this is going to be, uh, well, actually I don't need another note because I made a note up here that position equals the shape's location. So it recognizes the word sphere, it recognizes the word box, and it recognizes the word pause as short for position. So let's run this program. And lo and behold, I get a sphere here in the middle and I get a box around here. Now when I rotate, you can see I'm definitely rotating in space because the thing is rotating around the origin and the box is rotating around the sphere, which is pretty cool. And again, I can zoom out. I can see this thing rotating around. And now you see why I wanted to put this thing at two, at x equals two, because this thing has a radius, the sphere has a radius of one by default. So if I made the box's position one, zero, zero, they would be touching at their surfaces. 
Oh, I think I hit, uh, I think I hit refresh instead of run, my bad. Sorry, hit F5 instead of Control 2. I'm still learning Glow Script myself. Yeah, see how they uh, they intersect with each other. So vPython will make these things intersect. It's not going to tell you that they're uh, bumping into each other. Of course, another option would be to make the sphere smaller. That would mean changing the sphere's radius, right? The sphere has a radius, so I can change this thing's radius to be a half. So when I run it now, my box is going to be in the same location, and the sphere will be smaller. So that's pretty cool. Now another word about position. When we talk about the thing's position, we're specifying the center of the thing. We're talking about the position of the center of the thing. So the sphere is centered at 0, 0, 0. The box is centered at uh, 1, 0, 0. So the box has a width of 1, which means it's going to extend a half in each direction. So that's why they're still touching right there at the surface, because this thing has a radius of a half, this thing has a width of a half, so those are gonna to touch there. I can also change the size of the box if I want. I can go into size, except that's gonna to have to be a vector, because remember, to make a sphere, you just need one number, you just need a radius. But to make a box, I need three numbers. I need a length, I need a width, and I need a height, um, except it goes length, height, depth, now that I think about it. So let's, let's make these different uh, values here. So let's go with size equals the, I, I guess you would normally call that the width going in the x direction, the height going in the y direction, and the depth going in the z direction. There we go. And radius equals spheres radius. I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory, but we'll leave a note just in case. Let's run this one. And now I've made my box a rather different size, right? So let's double check what we put in here. Uh, let me see, I can resize this thing. Uh, why don't we do the Windows 10 trick? There we go. Cool, so I made this thing, I made this uh, I made this box 0 0.5 in the x direction. So this is the x direction, so I'm going 0 0.5 in the x direction. I made it 0 0.1 in the y direction, so you notice it's very thin. And I made it 1 in the z direction, so you notice it's going wider in the z direction. So in vPython, you've got the x-axis going left and right, you've got the y-axis going up and down, and you've got the z-axis going in and out of the screen. And of course, if you rotate it, that's going to change the way the axes rotate, but that's the, that's the default. One last thing I can do. Let's do one more thing, and then we'll uh, and then we'll call it a day for this video. Um, I can also change the color of these things. So if I've got multiple boxes around, I could change the color of them. So I can also change color equals. And now this is where it gets a little bit technical. VPython has some colors stored, but it has them all stored as color. So I have to say color. Actually, excuse me. I have to say call, don't I? Or no, I think you say color. Yeah, so if I want to make it red, I just say color equals color dot red. So it has a set of colors stored under color, and the dot just means I want you to access the, the red from the list of colors. I believe that's the appropriate way to do that. Yep, there it is. You just say color equals color dot red. I can also change the sphere's color. Uh, it knows most of the basic colors, so I can do color dot yellow. Um, let's run that one. There we go, so now I've got a yellow sphere and a red box, which is pretty cool. So, uh, this is a nice program that you can play around with. It's available in the description below. Um, and you can just open this right up in GlowScript and you can play around with these the spheres properties or the boxes properties. You can even make more spheres and more boxes in the lines below. Um, next time we'll take a look at how we can make some more changes to these things because you know having a picture is nice but having an animation is even better so thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye bye